We're so sorry if we made you feel uncomfortable. We really weren't fighting about you. I just never want to be a burden on my friends. Me either, I don't want to be a burden. Hey, is that the baby? I'll go check. <laughs> you are not a burden. We want you to come back and stay with us. But I also upset Sheldon, and he's not going to want to come over if I'm there. More reasons for you to stay. <laughs> Sally's fine. You know she's at my parents' house, right? <laughs> and she's having the time of her life. <laughs> if you ever want to change things up, you're always welcome here. Just not in our bedroom, you dumbass. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I think staying with Leonard and Penny makes more sense for everyone. Then it's settled. And just so you know, it's only temporary. I'm not going to get too comfortable. Good. Nobody needs a mooch living in their house forever. Hey, there's no way to talk about your baby. <laughs> You know what? I'm proud of us. Yeah, with Penny and Leonard taking in Raj and Stuart living with Howard and Bernadette, we're the only couple of our social group who doesn't need to fill the holes in their relationship with a third party. Yep, we're killing it. <laughs> it's hard to believe Howard's having a kid. Yeah. Penny, you're the one who introduced him to Bernie. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? <laughs> it's not just Howard and Bernadette. How far we've all come. Mm. You two got married. <laughs> Sheldon and I are living together. But if my mom asks, we have bunk beds. <laughs> Penny was a struggling actress when we met, and now she's a successful pharmaceutical rep. Okay, you, don't, you don't have to say struggling every time. You can just say actress. <laughs> Howard went to space. Bernadette got her doctorate. Sheldon, Howard, and I are working with the government on our quantum gyroscope. We've all come a long way. There's a lot to be proud of. For God's sake, just drive in the knife, why don't you? What's your problem? Well, you're all thinking it. I'm the only one who hasn't done anything worthwhile. I was not thinking it. Other than now that you pointed out, it is undeniable. <laughs> Raj, if it's any consolation, I'm no better off than I was 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a doctorate in astrophysics, and I'm every bit as awesome as the pasty-faced owner of a comic book store. Raj, please show some compassion. Those are things that we think but don't say. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Stuart. Hey, I'm in a hospital, and I'm not the patient. I'm fine. <laughs> Come on, Bernie. Breathe. Remember what you learned in birthing class? You want me to get the nurse? No! If one more person puts their fingers near my uterus, I'm gonna cross my legs and snap them off! How's she doing? She's great. Look. See a wall, floor, formation baby. There she is. See? Nothing to worry about. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some work done. Yeah. Me too. I love you. Love you too. Bye. That was no! <laughs> what are you doing here? Can a guy hang out at a college he doesn't go to and stare at a baby that isn't his? <laughs> I get it. I haven't even made it to my office yet. Mm. Is it weird if we just stand here and watch her all day? Probably. We should go. Yeah. Or we could take her to the aquarium. I'll get her, you grab her bag. <laughs> Hang on, Hallie, we're busting you out of there! <laughs> Pigeon check for Sheldon. <laughs> North side's all clear. Great, let's look at some planets. Hey, why'd you lug your telescope all the way over here? Leonard has one in our apartment. Yeah, I'm gonna use Leonard's. Might as well hold my hand up like this and squint. 
I don't know, it seemed pretty good. You know, once when the cable went out, I watched an entire episode of The Bachelor on a TV across the street. This one's more of a professional model. So was the girl he picked? This baby's got a 10-inch diameter with F10 ACF optics. And tonight, Mercury is at its highest elongation. It makes faraway things seem close, and Mercury is a planet. I know Mercury is a planet, but the, the other thing was helpful. <laughs> oh, look at that. Neil Gaiman tweeted about my store. What'd he say? Uh, next time you're in Pasadena, check out the Comic Center. Great vibe, old school. The owner really knows his stuff. Isn't that amazing? Well, it's no Sandman, but I guess we can't expect everything he writes to be a masterpiece. <laughs> when was he in your store? I have no idea. I think I would remember that. Obviously, vibranium is the most powerful metal in comics. W more powerful than adamantium? Mm, he's right. Wolverine's claws, Ultron's outer shell. Need I go on? You don't need to, but you probably will. <laughs> what about Wonder Woman's bracelets? Good point. Strong as a metal and fierce as a fashion choice. <laughs> you know, Thor's hammer's pretty powerful, and in the comics, it's made out of enchanted Uru. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's the enchantment that's powerful, not the Uru, but, uh, thanks for playing. Oh, man, I can't believe Neil Gaiman came in and we weren't even there. Oh. I've come to peace with my relationship with my parents. That was a big milestone for me. Oh, speaking of personal growth, I recently tried eating Swiss chard. <laughs> no, I didn't swallow it, but Amy said it counted. <laughs> Hey. Hey. You still a loser, or did you turn things around while you were gone? You know, Raj, honey, you're being too hard on yourself. When I first met you, you couldn't even talk to women. You couldn't even talk if one was in the room. Well, great, now I can say things like, I can't believe you're breaking up with me. Why are you breaking up with me? Yes, I'll still help you move. <laughs> Anyone else want to try? Uh, yeah, I got something. Raj, not everybody could be a dog owner. <laughs> oh, what, did your doggy break up with you too? Hey, I bought M&Ms at the vending machine and two bags came out. I bought the first one, it didn't fall. She's here, the baby's here. Oh, Congratulations! Oh, How's Bernadette? Tired, but great, they're both great. Does the baby have a name yet? We have named her Hallie. Oh, like Hallie's <laughs> Comet. Exactly. Also, like the comment, Bernadette said she's not gonna have sex with me for another 75 years. <laughs> That's not a real thing, he's just joking. <laughs> I'm gonna get back. Thank you for staying up. I can't wait for Hallie to meet her new aunts and uncles and godfather. Really? Of course. You hear that, Stuart? I've got a dog and a godchild. You have nothing! <laughs>
<laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Is it okay if I get some sleep? Yeah, go ahead. Good job, Mommy. cry either. Good night. I love both my girls. I love you too. I can't believe you fit in the crib. I could take a bath in the sink. <laughs> I don't, but I can. So how are your holidays? Oh, thank you for asking. Uh, I uh, went to visit my grandmother. She's in Bakersfield. Uh, usually my brother and sister go. <laughs> oh, come on! successful, some may be homeless. <laughs> it's fun to think about. I wonder which one's Hallie. Kind of hard to see the names. Mm, that one kind of looks like Bernadette. <laughs> they all look the same to me. Guys, she's my goddaughter. I think I'll know when I see her. That one. <laughs> this is the best blintz I've ever had. Oh, well, thank you. It almost makes up for the incredibly awkward turn things took earlier. <laughs> you know what, I, I, I think I'm just gonna go. No, Stuart, don't. No, I, I, I consider you and Sheldon like my family, and I'm not even sure you think of me as a friend. You have any idea how that feels? We're so sorry. Uh, I'm always the last one anybody thinks of. No, no, that's not true. I mean, sometimes it's Kuthra Polly. <laughs> no, but we're not supposed to say that because he's a minority. <laughs> Bye. Well, no, Stuart, wait. I do know what it feels like to be left out. I know how it feels, too. All right, this is about me and him. You're not part of it. <laughs> Stuart. Perhaps we do take you for granted, and that is not acceptable. Please know that you truly are a valuable member of our social group. Thank you. Now, in fact, I'd like to propose a toast. To Stuart, a fine man, a good friend, and a wonderful guest. Here, here. Cheers. Cheers. Film before a live studio audience. <laughs>